Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about what I believe to be the best long range hunting bullet. That is the Nosler AccuBond long range. We're also going to talk about why it's not the most popular long range bullet. And I'm going to give you two reasons why I think this bullet uh, suffers in popularity. For the past 10 years, and let's be honest, probably more, there's been a real craze in the hunting industry to really do more long distance hunting, say 500 to 1,000 or even more for some instances. Uh, people are really loving this idea of taking as long a shot as possible, and that's just kind of been the trend lately, unfortunately. I don't really subscribe to that. I prefer taking game in 500 yards and closer, closer ideally. In the last 10 years, there's been a lot more of these high BC uh, bullets to come out to help get you expansion at lower velocities. And usually that means like a cup and core bullet like this guy here, the ELDX. This is a Hornady ELDX. And, well, there's some downsides to having a cup and core bullet. What are the downsides, at least what I would consider downside. Now there's going to be some argument on whether it really is a downside, but an ELDX at closer ranges, or if it hits bone, it's going to fall apart. I shot this 178 grain ELDX, 75 yards with a 308 Winchester going pretty slow, and it just blew apart like this. And there's no weight retention. Uh, what you really want, and this is where people argue, what I prefer is a bullet that will have better weight retention so it will penetrate farther and uh, that it holds together even when it hits bone so my preferred bullets are bonded bullets this right here is a 200 grain acubond and that's kind of the textbook mushrooming you should want but there is a lot of other people that really do want violent expansion that will kill the game almost instantly it's hit. Now there is definitely some meat damage when you're using these bullets, but uh, it's really up to what the hunter wants. I personally don't like that. And so let's get to what Nosler has done recently. They have made a high BC bonded bullet. Now Nosler, seeing how popular long range hunting has become, they decided to kind of make the best of both worlds, a high BC bullet that is also bonded. So it stays together, has better weight retention, and will should be able to penetrate better. Let's just take a look at its claims. Uh, you know, it's bonded for maximum weight retention and energy transfer, reliable expansion across broad ranges of velocities. And that's what you're really looking for. Optimal performance, minimum 1,300 feet per second, and there is no maximum velocity for this. And as you can see, for the 270, it's a decent BC of 0 0.620. With these kind of attributes, if I were to ever do any long-range hunting, which I won't, I would absolutely take a Nosler Acubon long-range for hunting. Because I still want it to expand, but I don't want it to come apart like an ELDX or a burger bullet. And this is exactly what it does. And it, all the way down to 1,300 feet per second, that's awesome. This bullet should really be what everyone's looking for, but it's not. And let's talk about why. The number one reason why the Acubon Long Range just isn't as popular and not as many people are using it price. So an ELDX, now this depends on caliber and size, is going to run you around probably around 50 cents to 60 cents per bullet. Uh, the burger bullets are going to be anywhere from like 60 to 70 cents per bullet. So what is the Acubon long range? Now I got this for a pretty good deal because these bullets have been there for a long time. I recently checked again, you're going to be paying a dollar a bullet, basically, and a lot of times more. I uh, recently was looking at some 30 caliber Acubon long ranges, and they were 120 bucks. 
So a dollar a twenty a bullet. Not a lot of people are going to want to pay for that. Now for reason number two, I want to talk about Hornady for a second. For a while, Hornady had the inner bond bullet, which is their version of an AccuBond. But in recent years, probably since the pandemic, since 2020, they've basically stopped making them. And I know a lot of people are probably curious why Hornady stopped making their inner bond bullet or why they haven't really made a bonded bullet version of the ELDX. Well, in a podcast, they kind of alluded to why they stopped making bonded bullets. They're more expensive to make than their ELDX or SST or interlock, the standard cup and core bullets, and they are harder to get accurate. Generally across the board, it is much easier to get an ELDX to shoot. It's going to take a lot less effort to get an ELDX to shoot really well than say a bonded bullet like this guy the AccuBond long range. And so Hornady basically said bonded bullets are hard to get accurate. So we kind of just stopped making them, which is sad. I think um, the inner bond was a really good bullet, but reason number two, generally speaking, a bonded bullet is going to be harder to get accurate than your cup and core bullet, like a burger and an ELDX. Now, I want to share my personal experience with hand loading and load development with the AccuBond Long Range. A little over a month ago, I bought these 165 grains to try out in my old 270 Winchester. Yes, with a 1 in 10 twist. Um, I had heard that people can get these to stabilize and that they actually shoot decent. So, here's what I found. With Reloader 22, I was getting the most velocity over 2,800 feet per second. Accuracy, eh, this was the best I could get. That's okay, but for long range shooters, it's definitely not acceptable. Um, and then I, of course, switched to a powder that I know will be really good in 270, and I was able to get this group to shrink a bit more. So this is H4831. Velocity's a little lower, but we're getting closer to half MOA. And then I was able to get half MOA, a little under actually. I am completely th thrilled by this type of accuracy, especially in a 270 and a 1 in 10 twist. So in my personal experience, this bullet was not hard to load for. I was able to find my load within about 30 bullets. So, and it was, most of those bullets were just playing with the Reloader 22 when I should have just started with H4831. And what I found was I got my best accuracy loading close to the lands, about 20 thousandths off the lands. And I started seeing sub MOA and half MOA. So those two reasons, the bullets are too expensive and it's gonna be harder to get them to shoot accurately. I do think you can get them accurate in most rifles. You'll eventually get it. I found mine pretty easily, but uh, you know, People are going to want cheaper bullets, and they just want them to be accurate right away. So, Nosler, if you're watching this, I get it. You make great bullets, but they're too stinking expensive. A 210 grain Nosler AccuBond for a 30 caliber should not be $120 for a box of 100. Sorry, $1.20 per bullet is ridiculous.